Those extreme temperatures continue to pound Kansas City. And that means continuing danger for the sick and the elderly. Naja Sherman joins us live from the American Red Cross with a look at the efforts to help people during this difficult time. Naja. Good morning, Zhao Zhao and Curtis. It is still dangerously hot outside. It's still early in the summer, and we received reports of about three possible heat-related deaths at last word. There may be two additional, and emergency service groups are working very hard to try and help people out during this difficult time. The Salvation Army says on Friday it served 350 people. On Saturday, 250. And they also plan to be just out and about throughout the metropolitan area, handing out water to help, to help keep people hydrated. The Department of Social Services also released some numbers. It says that cooling centers have been packed, and at last word, they're packing about 200 people per day who are looking for relief. The American Red Cross also doing what it can. We welcome Darren Ashlock, who is coordinator of volunteer services. What are you guys dealing with right now? Uh, right now, we're dealing with obviously the severe heat in the community. Uh, we've been out in touch with citizens in the last four or five days, primarily the elderly uh, experience. Experiencing uh, a lot of heat related symptoms. Most of these folks do not have any type of uh, uh, cooling uh, to deal with the heat. Therefore, we've been out distributing fans and trying also to share uh, some information with them on how to deal with the heat. This is the first year that you've participated in the fan drive, the American Red Cross. Are you surprised at how, need the, how great the need is this summer? Uh, actually, not. Uh, with the, the temperatures so stifling and so consistent here, um, we were pretty certain that there were going to be a number of needs. Uh, the calls are coming in pretty sporadic right now. We fielded about 50 requests uh, this past Friday, and we're seeing 10 to 12 requests each day since then. And in terms of fans, you're in pretty good shape, but you said that monetary donations are really needed. People like to know where their money goes, so how is that money being used? Uh, the dollar is, uh, you know, so critical to what we do at the Red Cross. Uh, we're volunteer-led, but we are donator-driven. Uh, the money that folks donate uh, goes to any disaster relief. Uh, that the Red Cross participates in. Uh, those donations can be made at redcross.org or 1 800 Red Cross. All right. Well, thank you so much for your effort and for the list of complete list of the very latest cooling centers available. Just go to 211. You can call 211 for the latest information. Reporting live in Kansas City, Naja Sherman, 41 Action News.